Hey, thanks for joining. This is Cody with EXP Realty, owner of the brokerage group in Lakewood, Colorado. So this document here is one of the EXP disclosures. Almost every or every company should have one of these, including the title companies, the mortgage lenders, and all realtors involved. Wire fraud is now a major problem, uh, thankfully not taking advantage of too many people I've heard of, uh, but there is no recourse. So we want to give a full disclosure on this. Um, so here's what I'll uh, go through, and this is how I describe it to my clients. So this is the EXP Wiring Fraud Advisory Notice. Uh, this is one of four to five different places that you'll see it and have to sign, understanding that this is a very real problem. I do want to scare you a little bit because uh, if this were to happen, the FBI nor any other government agency seem to have any recourse and ability to help you. So just know that when it comes time to sending your wiring instructions and sending money uh, to be very careful. Uh, we want to take some extreme precautions here. Of course, you can read all of these uh, five items on this page, but I like to just keep it very simple. Know that in our case, uh, as a buyer, you're going to have previous contact with a title company representative that's a part of our transaction. That person is who will be reaching out to you to get the wiring information. They'll do it in one of two or three different ways and nothing else outside of that. For example, one way that they will do it is they will call you. Someone that you have talked to before will call you and ask you for your wiring instructions to do it over the phone. We have not seen that scammers are doing this. So again, it'll be someone that you have already spoken to. The second way is that uh, their title company, either Heritage Title, Land Title, Chicago Title, whoever it is, We'll send you an encrypted login via email that you will sign into, create an account, and fill out their paperwork with your wiring instructions, whether you're buying or selling your property. Now, the third way is they might ask you to bring your instructions written down on paper to the closing table to hand to them physically. That's it. One of those three ways. They will not send a PDF embedded in an email with instructions. They will not send a embedded uh, image in that file with instructions, uh, the scammers are spoofing email addresses, uh, they're copy and pasting confidentiality notices, email signatures, and their spelling is getting much better. So know that the only ways that they will get that information from you for our transaction will be a phone call with someone you've spoken with, an encrypted login through email, or in person physically, which will be arranged through a phone call. That's it. If you have any questions about wiring fraud, please let me know. Stay safe. We want to protect you and we want to protect your money. Thank you.